Kaka'ako's popularity has its casualties. In less than two weeks, a nonprofit that's helped feed Hawaii's low income residents and homeless for years has to close its doors. Feeding Hawaii Together operates out of a large space, but the site has been sold. As Alex Serbal explains in this developing story, it wants to continue distributing food, but it's going to need help fast. Alex? Aloha, Kathy. The food pantry has to move out of their current location, but they are having a hard time finding a new place. Now, the founders say they need a space that's at least 6,000 square feet or bigger, somewhere on Oahu between Moili'ili and Ivalei. But the prices they are seeing are about $10,000 a month, which is way out of their budget. This is a uh, canned can goods, and, and this one, what is this? Uh, dried cherries, and. Uh, this stuff, stuff like this, they can grab handfuls. Charlie Lorenz is the executive director and co-founder of Feeding Hawaii Together, a food pantry located in Kaka'ako. Wow. So then they come over here. He showed me around the facility that he says helps between 1,000 and 1,500 people a week. How often can families or people come here? Once a week. Feeding Hawaii Together has been in Kaka'ako in this building for 15 years, but the landlord recently told them they have to move out because the building was sold. Part of the biggest challenge has been finding a location big enough and one they can actually afford. We need at least 6,000 square feet. I think I can fit um, a food pantry with a walk-in refrigerator, walk-in freezer, pallet shelves, and all of our equipment you know, that we need to run the place. Um, pretty sure could, we could do it in 6,000 square feet. You've been in this building for 15 years. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that you've been seeing, you know, in this search for a new property? Well, it's the cost. It's the market value. Right now, they pay approximately $5,000 a month, but what they're finding is about twice as much. Assistant Director Diana Loren says they need to find a place quickly so they can continue to help people in need. We did hand out about 3 million pounds of food last year. So 2016, we believe it'll probably be even more. Feeding Hawaii Together has until the end of December in this space here in Kaka'ako. The founders told me that on December 1st, they're going to stop distributing food and they're going to give it all away if they don't have a new space to open up in. But they did say they're going to continue to search so they can eventually open up again. This is where it's really needed, is Kaka'ako. Because people say that they're doing affordable housing, uh-uh, it's not affordable. Representative Marcus Oshiro stopped by the Kanga'ako facility today while we were there, and he offered a temporary state-owned warehouse in Wahiwa that's empty to store equipment and food while the founders search for a new location. Of course, we are going to keep you posted on any developments, but you can always go to our website, k 22com for more information on how you can help. Alex Serbal, k 2 News.